Sorry to hear that. Why? Have, have you ever been raped? I've not been raped. Well, then I mean, can I change your mind by saying I've been raped, and I, a good majority of my friends have been raped, so. No, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a convincing argument. I I, I am very sorry. No. I don't know how you have the audacity to like come back on our campus and say that rape culture is a myth because that's personally offensive to. A lot of people I know actually, and so yeah. especially like the audacity to come here and. The and audacity really, to come here and speak the truth. I, I have the audacity to speak the truth. Speak the truth? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah. You know what? How about somebody rapes you and then you come and tell me that rape culture is a myth? So for me to be so idiotic as to not believe uh -huh. in rape culture, which we both agree is the idea that rape is perpetuated, encouraged, or tolerated in a society, you would need to present some kind of data, anything. I know you think empirical data is bullshit. That's fine. Uh -huh. Some kind of evidence to support your premise that rape is tolerated or encouraged in the United States. Yeah, I mean, it is tolerated. I mean, have you seen like Brett Kavanaugh? Are you familiar with that situation right now? Not like, at all, enlighten me. You don't know who Brett Kavanaugh is. This man doesn't know who Brett Kavanaugh is. No, and I he's gonna sit here and tell me that rape culture is a myth. And as they ask him these questions, um, they pull out his yearbook and they find terms like devil's triangle, which mm -hmm. if you don't know what that means, that's no um, idea. two males and a female. And um, that's two males ganging up on a female. It is Sounds like terrible. it refers to rape. And so he's out here and that's who they're trying to appoint. And this man is, is Brett Kavanaugh? Brett Kavanaugh, mm -hmm. sir. At this point, I'm unsure of like what you know about the government, but yeah. that is the highest position that you can acquire. And so a, supre if, a Supreme Court Justice. A Supreme Court justice. It's, it's high up there. It's it's high up there, oh, buddy. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. So um, the fact that. So if I'm to answer the question on Brett Kavanaugh and, and Dr. Christine Ford or any of the other allegations coming forward from Michael Avenetti, uh, who represents actually the other lady who accused him of gang rape as well, um, that's separate again from the evidence. It's about one in 1,900 women are raped in the United States, according to the FBI. It's about one, uh, one in a thousand for uh, college students. If you include all sexual assault, according to the Department of Justice or Bureau of Justice, it's about one in 52 of all sex. That includes you know playing grab. Does the word hubris mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Thank the you. fact that you really did you really think that I didn't know who Brett Kavanaugh was? I really did it, honestly, at this yeah. point, like I'm unsure what you actually know. Right. Yeah. You've explained nothing. You've presented no evidence or data. The only thing the only time you've addressed evidence or data is saying that it's bullshit to use your words and it doesn't matter. The amount of rapes matter. The conviction rates matter. What we yeah, do with they... rapists matters. And when you come out and you say we live in a rape culture and you compare Dr. Christine Ford's allegations, let's say we have no idea whether they're true or not. Zero evidence whatsoever from 35 years ago. You can't run an investigation whether who, what, when, where, or why. We have none of it. To then use that as a springboard to say that we live in a rape culture, I think is intellectually disingenuous. And I think it does a great disservice to people who've actually been the victim of a horrible crime. So then how can you sit here and tell me that how can you sit here? That this is all like these statistics are all 100% correct. No. And who the hell let you back on this campus? Yeah, what the f is wrong with you? It's a public sidewalk. This is a, so nobody invited you here? You can't just sit Officers, here. if nobody invited him here, can we ask he him to leave this here. campus? He needs to leave. Is this being handled? Have you ever been raped? No. And don't say sh Then shut the if Brett Kavanaugh did all of the things that he accused him of, for example, a triangle, gang rape, gang rape, if he raped people, cock his head back and left, I say that, castrate him and give him life. But if it's not true, I feel probably worse for him than any man I can think of in recent memory. The only difference between the two is castrate the man versus empathy is the truth. I'm going to have to interrupt just a minute. That's a good question. That would be awesome. But like, why is he allowed on our campus if this isn't even like an organized okay, event? No, I am not part of this event. Okay, so you're free to go anytime. You don't have to actually. Do yeah, I know. But if he's gonna sit here and say the rape culture is a myth, then somebody okay. needs to sit here and say. We're, we're gonna deal with that. But but you're not helping the situation by adding to it. <laughs> so adding him. No, no. It's by not adding to it, it's I not, added to rape culture by getting raped. Whatever you need yeah. us to do. You're not mad. I understand. So if I called you and said somebody raped me, you would. Would it be mad? But that's well, not you what's just happening. twisted my words and I didn't say that. I'm trying to get some order here, and if you're not willing to have to be a part of this, then you're free to leave. Rape culture exists, and you're telling me one in a thousand? I can tell you that's bullshit. 
can, one in 1900. Do you see? Do you see 1900 people standing here? I can guarantee you, multiple people right here have been raped, and this is not 1900 people. So. How, okay. And this man is saying one in 1900. 1900. According to the FBI, yeah. According to the FBI, one in 1900 people have been raped. I can guarantee that I am not the only one standing here that's been raped, and we are not 1900. So thank you, and thank you, and I hope you get the hell off our campus.